Tubi viewers, and welcome to Smash Our Stash, which is also going to be Kendra's card challenge number five. And um, you can't tell, but I'm sort of looking around because I can't find Kendra's card challenge number five. Oh, Kendra's, oh, here it is. Found it. Now I'm coming back. Okay. So, um, I love, I'm, I am Kendra's design team. So, uh, this was, a, I have another one that I'm going to do later on this month, but this is the one I was working on. And there was a, oh, it, it's been a, it's been a week. So anyway, I'm going to show you what happens when you have a healing bird involved in your videos. So this was, so, so let me tell you the story of this. So this is Pink and Maine's uh, Celebrate paper pad, okay? So a lot of this is Pink and Maine. Pink and Maine is one of our sponsors, which is great. And, uh, but I was thinking about what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do to make different kinds of birthday cards? I need more birthday cards, yet I need yet more birthday cards. It's one of the things I sell a lot of but it's also something that I give a lot of. So all of this whole set is made with the Rabbit Hole Designs Caffeinated Critters. Yes, they are, okay? Now, so I should show you these because caffeinated critters come grumpy as you know what. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, now you can see it. They come grumpy. They come very grumpy and every single one of them comes holding a coffee cup. See, there's, this is uh, the magical unicorn. It says magical AF. Caffeine makes me sparkle. You know, caffeine makes me gnarly. It's a narwhal, stabby. And she's like, looks horrible, okay? There's bugs, all of them look grumpy. Here's, this is the dog and he's holding a coffee cup, okay? And there's a crab with coffee and a donut. There's a spider with four coffee cups. Okay, these are all the bugs. Yeah, okay. And there's a fox and there's a bear. There's a goat that says caffeine releases my inner kid. See, so all look at, there's the dragon. So, um, and it says dragon and it says magical elixir. And I use that often on my coffee cards. And here's this, um, we're going to need a bigger cup. Jawsome, bite me, this rabbit, time to caffeinate. Yeah, hairly awake, hop to it. Okay, and then these are the new ones, which is bouncy juice. This is a kangaroo. Okay, there's a parrot and there's a chubby unicorn there. Okay, so all of them are grumpy and all of them are tired and carrying a coffee cup. However, if you cut out the coffee cup, you can stick a present in there, which is what I did. Okay, so that's the way I made these cards. So always look at your stamps and think about what you can do. Now, if you are not careful, what happens is you start to make your stamp and you leave it over here to dry and your bird comes along and poops on it. So yeah, I didn't finish that card because we're not going to be mailing this one. Yeah, because nobody likes a card with parrot poop on it. But I wanted to show you this one because A, that's what happens when you leave it out where birds and other things can get it. But B, see, so I cut off his arm. I cut out the coffee cup. I cut off his arm. I cut this arm up and I had another leg to stick under here before poop happened. And notice like the papers are just wonderful. So, all right, there's that one. Number two, I didn't put in the oval because I took the kangaroo and I just gave her a present. It's your day. And I figured out where I got all these um, enamel dots that I like so much that are so incredibly sparkly. They come from Pink and Maine! Yes, and they come in all different colors and they're just amazing. So here's another one. Here's the shark 
happy birthday. And so the interesting thing is this little tiny bow comes from iCrafter. That came from a uh, iCrafter die set that I had, and I had that little bow there. And all the, actually all the packages. See, here's the happy birthday. This is, these two are uh, pink and main uh, sentiments. This one is an MFT die that you'll see later on too. There he is, there's the bunny. Happy birthday. Yep, here's a gift for you. I made the T-Rex. See, I cut the coffee cup out. Gave him that. There's his little thing. I gave him a pet present. So there's that. See, and they're very funny on these. I really like these birthday cards. I think they're hilarious. Okay, so there's the first six cards. One pooped on and five. I think they're very funny. See, look at the little goat. See, this one was supposed to be the sentiment here and then three little things. Instead, I put the sentiment here, two things, and then the goat in the middle. I kind of like him. I like the goat. And you see, it's amazing what you can do with a magic marker. See, I missed him here on him. And see, this is what you can do. You just kind of turn it around. Look at that. And now it looks like he's smiling. And the other little bit of the frown looks like, you know, a wrinkle. So there we go. First five cards. And this was indeed my smash my stash. Okay. Here come the next ones. I didn't put a tag on this one. And I did, instead of embossing, I did um, a stencil on there. That's MFT's confetti stencil. And there's the rabbit. You know what I did? I don't know the rabbit. It's the owl. So I cut out her arm. And actually the coffee cup is under there. But I just cut out her arm and stuck the present in. You know, you can just glue it on. There she is. That's her beak. You can't really make her smile more than that. But there you are. Happy birthday. That is a pink and mane dye. Okay. Which I think is very nice. And here is the dragon. There he is. I don't know how to make him smile. But here are more of these dots. Happy birthday to you. HBT to you. Is, um, that's uh, alphabet dyes from iCrafter which is really nice. Here we go, here's a little butterfly. I made him smile. And all these little dots are from Pink and Main. That's a, this, the actual sentiment reads, hey, 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 you're celebrating a birthday. But that's another Pink and Main set. Here we go. There you go, look at her. Isn't she lovely? That's the unicorn. She looks just so, she looks like the mom in all of us, doesn't she? I love her. Another, this is the same happy birthday with the background on it and I popped it up. Looks very nice. I like that one. This is the boxer. Isn't it nice? On the inside it says, happy birthday. I just thought that one was really fun. This is an old, old recollections alphabet that I had with the typewriter stuff, and I just think that's funny. Again, all I did was cut out his hand. The coffee cup is under there, and I just, I took my little X-Acto knife, and I cut out his hand, I cut out his hand, and I glued the present in there. All you have to do, all you have to do. Some of these, you can cut it off with this one, the coffee cup is under there. Well, actually, I think it, I cut it off here, but I cut out his arm and I just tucked the present under his arm and put the present so that it covered up his belly there, his little belly. So there's the next six cards like that. But just remember what you can do with your stamps. You know what? You can always do new things with your stamps. And here is 13, 14, and 15 for this one. So this one had a big white thing in the middle, but I didn't do that. I put a flamingo in there. Happy birthday. Oh, I see, you're supposed to put these over here, but I put them over here because they fit better. Happy birthday, same sentiment. 
See this? Here's the narwhal. So she's got makeup on under her eyes and I gave her a little smile. I think she's adorable. She looks very tired too. And this is what I did with the crab. Look at this one. So this is the way the happy birthday dye comes. Okay, from MFT. It's actually a hanging sign for one of their box something or others. But um, I gave him little signs in his hands. I cut out his coffee cups and his donut. Um, there are blue crabs up in the Chesapeake. And I colored the I colored the crab blue. I colored some cardstock, the same color as him, cut out all the letters and put it on there and he's holding the sign and popped up the letters, the sign, so it would pop out. Um, I think that came out really cute. That's the first time I've really been happy with the cupcake one, but I think he's adorable. So you could send that to a friend up in Maryland, maybe, yeah. Uh-huh, or something like that. Who likes blue crabs? Yeah, okay. Anyway, she'll laugh when she hears me say that. So there you go. Yeah, so let's move this aside. And this was indeed smashing my stash. It was also something I needed to get done. And it wasn't done, and it wasn't done, and it wasn't done. And I thought this one up a long time ago. And we're just going to leave El Pupo over there. And we're going to put these guys all out for you to see. Yes. Yes, we are. We're gonna put all the all of them out. We're gonna move my coffee cup so I don't spill coffee on them. That's the other thing I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of quilting and um, that's the other thing I've been trying to finish up is some quilting and um, I uh, dumped two cups of coffee, one cup of coffee and one cup of iced tea in my quilt room. And I'm like, how does one do this? How does one do this? But it's, I guess it's actually very easy to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There's all the birthday cards with all the little animals. Just this one doesn't have an animal on it. But um, I thought, you know, that one's kind of plain in case you have somebody who doesn't have a sense of humor. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this. Um, you're going to see probably another one later on because I have one from Kendra's Card Challenge number four that I have to finish up. I never got it done. But that's okay. Um, it was an extra. And yeah, pink and mane. Aren't these pretty? You kind of look at these. Look at these, aren't those cool? Look at those, aren't those cool? I just love them. Look at these ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've just got a little bit of sparkle in there and they're flat, they're not gems, but they sparkle anyway. Um, easier to mail. Okay, talk to you soon, bye.